Goethe, and the 19th century German theater. Weimar Classicism, Gut and Schiller The meeting of Gutter and Schiller in Weimar and Jena in 1794 began not only the friendship, but also a dialogue that proved mutual productivity and creativity. At Schiller's insistence, Gutter resumed his main work. Faust Part I was completed in 1808. Weimar classicism is the common achievement of Gutt and Schiller. Gutt and Schiller moved towards Greek classicism at the end of the 18th century, was motivated to find aesthetic standards in contemporary literature. The core of Faust Part I is the infanticide tragedy, Erfist. Margaret, a girl in the village, and her family were destroyed by Faust's love affair. Faust is a scholar and professor, boring book study, longing for experience. Resorts to magic, makes a contract with the devil, and embarks on a journey with his new partner Mephistopheles, who makes him young again, and guides him to find Margaret and leads him to a fatal love affair. The greater drama of 1808 integrated this tragic love story into the cosmic framework of the bet between God and Mephisto. It's not that Faust will avoid evil but his connection with the devil does not prevent him from finally fighting for God as the central list. The bet was finally settled in the Faust Part II, in favor of God. God and Romanticism in the years after Schiller's death in 1805, Gubb developed a romantic style in some respects. But he still keeps a distance from the younger generation of romantics. He shared their interest in ancient Greece, rather than their nationalist politics. Their tendency towards Catholicism, or their idealization of the Middle Ages. Gubb's Faust Part II is an example. This huge cosmic fable dramatized the magician's career in the court and his last salvation in the mountain valley, full of Catholic saints, including the Virgin. God's poetry in this period was characterized by exoticism, the assimilation of foreign genres and styles, such as Chinese poetry, especially Persian poetry. Share this exoticism with romantics, God nevertheless was able to adapt this model to his own expressive needs. The Story of Faust Faust, Part 1 Faust Part 1 takes place in multiple environments, the first is heaven. The demon Mephisto bets with God, he says he can seduce God's favorite person, Faust who is striving to learn everything that can be known, away from righteous pursuits. The next scene takes place in Faust's study. Faust despairs of the vanity of science, humanities, and religion. He turns to the magic of infinite knowledge. However, he suspects that his attempt has failed. Depressed, he considers suicide but he stops when he hears the echo of the beginning of the nearby Easter celebrations. He and his assistant Wagner go for a walk, followed by a stray poodle home. In Faust's study, the poodle transforms into Mephisto. Faust agrees with him, when he is on Earth, Mephistopheles will do everything Faust wants to do, and in exchange, Faust will serve the devil in hell. Faust's arrangement is that if he is satisfied with anything Mephisto gives him, and he wants to stay at that moment forever, then he will die at that moment. When Mephisto asks Faust to sign the contract with blood, Faust complains that Mephisto does not believe in Faust's words of honor. In the end, Mephisto wins the argument, and Faust signs the contract with a drop of his own blood. Faust drinks the potion and becomes a handsome young man. Faust has made several short trips, and then meets Margaret. He is attracted by her and the jewelry. With the help of his neighbor Marth, Mephistopheles puts Margaret into Faust's arms. 
Margaret's mother dies of sleeping potion, administered by Margaret to obtain privacy so that Faust could visit her. Then she finds out that she is pregnant. Margaret's brother condemns Faust, challenges him and dies at the hands of Faust and Mephisto. Margaret drowns her illegitimate child and is convicted of murder. Faust tries to save Margaret from prison, thereby saving her from death. Finding that she refuses to escape, Faust and Mephistus flee the dungeon. When the voice from heaven announces Margaret shall be saved, sie ist gerettet. This is different from her Faust's harsher ending, she is condemned. Sie ist gerichtet. Faust, Part 2 In Act 1, we find Faust sleeping on the side of a mountain awakened by the messenger, Ariel. Eventually, he joins Mephisto, who plays the role of a fool in the court of the Holy Roman Emperor. The Emperor's realm is turbulent, because the Emperor does not have enough money to pay his bills. Mephisto tells the Emperor that he can have as much money as he wants if only he starts issuing paper money based on treasure supposedly buried underground. The Emperor does so and temporarily restores the solvency of his empire. Faust travels to the mysterious mother country with the help of Mephisto and brings back Helen and Paris. Faust is fascinated by Helen's beauty and tries to hug her but suddenly lose consciousness. Act 2 begins in Faust's old study. Faust is still unconscious, and Mephisto helps his old colleague Wagner create a homunculus. The homunculus can understand Faust's thoughts, and he tells Mephisto that they had to go to ancient Greece to find Helen. They travel to ancient Greece, where Faust finds a female prophet, who claims that she can lead him to Helen. In Act 3, Mephisto finds Helen. He tells her that he can take her to Faust's castle, where he will protect her. Mephisto, Faust and Helen transport to Arcadia. There, Faust and Helen have a son, Adrian, who is eager to fly into the sky. He flies, but flies too high, and crashes to the ground. After his death, his mother Helen joins him in the spiritual realm. Act 4 begins with Faust and Mephisto at the top of the mountain. Mephisto provides Faust power and fame. But he refuses, claiming that he wants to build a technological utopia on the land currently under the sea. Then they see their old friend the Emperor preparing to fight a rival Emperor who is trying to seize the throne. Mephisto's banknote plan causes inflation and eventually civil war. Faust and Mephisto agree to help the Emperor win the war, as long as he gave Faust the underwater land he wanted. They win the battle, Faust got his land. In Act 5, Faust has established a business empire on this land, which now has a history of 100 years. He finally dies, and the devil did not get his soul, but a group of angels descend and draw him to heaven.